Hi and welcome to the Home Engineers um, YouTube channel. Um, this is a project I've been working on which is a internal and external retracting um, screw cutting tool. Um, and I can then use um, tip tools in it as well as ordinary high speed steel or tungsten carbide um, ground tools as well. It's based on the movement is based on the GH Thomas um, retractable tool um, but his was only designed to um, be for external threads and to be honest with you I think it's more beneficial for internal threads than external threads so this is what I've come up with as a design so what you've got is the cam movement to drive it forward and out so when it's fully back in, in this position with the handle down that's for internal screw cutting and then obviously when you go fully forward you've got a mechanism at the back here that you can adjust to lock it so that it will um, do um, external threads as well which I'm going to do both to, to demonstrate because I haven't actually used this tool yet um, so this prototype is this this is the first time it's been used in anger um, I've already machined up the blanks now the three that you see here are going to be the um, tool post clamps for the actual uh, holder itself there's going to be five of them um, I just did six just in case I have any issues and this is going to be an internal M16 thread on a top hat um, bush for uh, another project that I'm working on and that's going to be M16 on this one and this by two and this is going to be M8 by 1.25 so without further ado I'll get this set up um, I'm also going to be using um, an Ainge Jess um, and I've already preset the, the stop um, underneath which is on this bar here and I don't know if you can just see the stop over, over here so that's been set already for how far I want it to travel along the, the bed um, I've already set the gearbox um, for two mil needs to be on E4 so there's your E and if we wind that round the four I don't forget four lines up with with the line so that that's correct there and I've also set the gearbox up on the lathe to cut a two mil pitch which is on L which is the the back gears which are already in the low range it's on R in position one and it's on Y and it's C so the gearbox is all set up ready to go um, I did that purely to save a bit of time on on the video so right I will now set this up for screw cutting I've also already touched inside the bore with the tool so that I know that when it's at its home position that is my zero starting point and I've also set my dial to zero on here so I'll then put my first cut on and I can then run this down through just to see how we get on.
sorry one other thing I should have pointed out with this tool is obviously when you retract it um, it's going to go in a forward position and this also doubles up as a stop so that you can't over travel and hit the far side of the wall so I'll just wind that down to that position there and then lock that one up so that now that will only travel that distance there. there we go. So then wind that back. Also at the speed now I know that it's set correctly. So we've cut this at about 410 RPM put on the next cut and the beauty of this is the cut is all in one direction because obviously I've been able to move the tool away and just bring it back to the same stop um, so I don't have to keep going back and forth on the um, y-axis <laughs> I'll do the stop there because um, obviously it's going to be a bit boring video if you just see me screw cutting all the time um, but as you can see um, we have started to cut the internal thread quite nicely in there coming back to the same position so what I will do is I'll stop the video now and then I will finish it and then I'll come come back to it but at the minute the tool looks like it is um, repeating quite well okay so it's now been screw cut and I'm very happy with the result the, the tool itself um, worked absolutely as I expected so I'm very very pleased with that and that is an M16 but two which is going to be um, a lead screw um, in a nut for a uh, bender I'm building at the present time so the next one I will do I will post another video on using it for doing the external threads and that will be on a separate video thank you again for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, and if you have, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, The Home Engineer.